I, I'm telling you, Colin, that sucked last night. Last night sucked. What do you mean? We had a great time last night. Why don't you stop worrying about everything for once and be proud of yourself? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, the fact that I'm missing a tooth right now, bleeding from my mouth. Or how about this? How about this? How about the fact that we have a living tiger in our hotel room, Colin? Actually, no better yet. Maybe it's the fact that Brian has a living human being on his chest, a whole child. Yeah, that's it. He has a freaking baby. Hey, I don't think it should be because of my baby. I don't think you should have a baby. That's a cute baby. What's its name? Uh. Ben, Carlos. Carlos? What's up, Wildcat Nation? I'm Grant. And I'm Peyton. We are your anchors for this week's episode. Today's the last day to order a yearbook online. Contact Miss White with any questions. Prom tickets are $100 in the month of April. Get your tickets before it's too late. We've got some amazing shows for you this week, including Are You Smarter Than a 7th Grader, Getty vs. Gavin, Spelling Bee, World's Hottest Gummy Bear, and many more. Now on to sports with Icy. What's up, Wildcat Nation? I'm Icy with this week's sports. Monday, tennis competed in the first round of the state tournament and won their match against Jasper County. Baseball also played Monday against East Hall and brought home a win. Golf had a match in Elbert as well. Tuesday, golf played at Stevens County. Girls soccer competed in the first round of the state tournament at home and won. They will play again at home on Tuesday. Wednesday, golf had a match against Athens Christian. Boys soccer played against Oglethorpe Wednesday as well and won as well. They will play again away on Wednesday. Yesterday, track had their senior night match at home versus Commerce in East Jackson. Golf also played again yesterday. Today, baseball has their senior night at home against Towns County. Come out and support them. Well, that's all for this week's sports. Stay superior, Wildcat Nation. What's up, guys? It's Max Barrientos. So you're back with Wildcat TV. And behind me, we are getting ready to film the amazing battle between Coach Getty and Gavin Simpson in a 1v1 basketball tournament. Right here, we have Coach Getty. So, Coach Getty, how do you feel? How do you feel about this 1v1? Do you think you're going to win? I do believe I can win, but I'm not going to lie. It's, it's nerve-wracking feeling like I'm being challenged by a high school kid when I'm old like this. But I'm going to give it my best. I think I can win. All right, there you have it from Coach Getty. All right, right here we have Gavin Simpson. So, Gavin, do you think you can win this 1v1? I do. All right, what are your tactics? Getting tired out, driving the pain, hopefully not get packed off the backboard. All right, all right, well, there you have it, Gavin Simpson. Hey, Burrow, how do you feel about the game between Coach Getty and Gavin Simpson? To be honest, I think Gavin's cooked. Um, after watching that student versus teacher game uh, Wednesday, you know, Getty was shooting. Getty was making some shots, some hoops, you know. So I feel like I haven't really watched Gavin play, though, so I can't say much. But uh, I think Gavin's cooked. Who's going to win this 1v1? Well, I think Coach Getty's going to continue what we started earlier in the week, and you know, the faculty's going to win again. Well, there you have it from as well. So, Jaden, who do you think is going to win this game? Obviously, Coach Getty. Why do you say that? I mean, did you just see what happened? People who voted for Gavin have to put their phone up for uh, a whole week. May you tell us what the final score was? I think it was 15 to 12. It could be 15 to 13. Huh? All right. All right.
Forward Rabin is a group that works in Rabin to support growth and quality of life here in our community. They also work to provide better economic opportunities for everyone. Part of the opportunities that they offer involves the Forward Rabin Youth Leadership Program for students from RCHS as well as Lula Falls and Rabin Gap. Each month, the group of students participate in events related to the development of leadership skills that include outreach trips and tours of local and even state level organizations. Some of the trips we take include visiting the local hospital, the RC Sheriff's Department, the Tallulah Gorge Power Plant, and the State Capitol for the General Assembly. Any upcoming junior who is a Raven County resident and has a desire to serve as a leader in our community and in our state should apply. You can find the application in your email. It has been sent for Ms. Ward. You will need a teacher to complete the recommendation portion of the application and you may be called for an interview before school starts back in August. It is important to know that if you are accepted into the program, you are expected to attend all events that are scheduled by Forward Raven. These events are always during the school day, but you must be prepared to make up any work that you miss when you are off campus. Also, there is always a fun day scheduled for the end of the year celebration and a family dinner too. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> Go home, please. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with me, Lucy, and these are my friends. Caroline. Robbie. Derek. <laughs> Got it. Kay. And this is <clears throat> Chilling with Acquaintances. All right, first up, guys, um, what's your spirit animal? Robbie. Mine, mine's, a, mine's a monkey. I'm a Derek. I can see that. <laughs> what's yours, Caroline? My spirit animal? Giraffe. Send What's your me. favorite song? I don't know, One Last Breath by Creed. Careless Whisper. In My Arms Instead by R In Randy Rogers. Hey, how about you shut up? <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> What's your ix? People who wear, uh, <laughs> people who wear tennis hoodies actually get me. <laughs> people who wear wildcat tennis, uh, black long sleeves. Ugh, they just, ugh. Gulp. People who wear pink shorts kill me. Mm, these guys. I don't like. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> we know, Brady, it's okay. <laughs> yep. I don't like people that wear boots. Gorilla dude. I'm just kidding. I know you are. I hate it when people's tennis... <laughs> <laughs> when people's brothers are better tennis players than them? Bedford. Couldn't be this guy. <laughs> Bigfoot, real or not? Um, real. Bigfoot's definitely... Oh, <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> Womp womp. How about you just, shh. Bigfoot is real. Um, what, I don't think aliens are real. I do. I believe in Bigfoot. The universe is too big to not yeah, have there's, aliens. Yeah, there's well, no yeah, way probably. there's not. Exactly, probably. I've just convinced you of my point. <laughs> <laughs> but like. Good argument, Brady. I don't really think there's, uh -oh. they have all that uh -oh. technology. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, they no. do, they're aliens. They do. I mean, UFOs are UFOs. Aliens are just us from the future. Who's my best friend? Trent. Not Robbie Fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's not mine. Trent, Trent and Michael Thompson is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, who's your best friend? I don't have friends. They disappoint me. He only has. Oh, man. Taco bean. What's y'all's favorite animal noise? I can do a really good turkey call. I like <laughs> alligator <laughs> farts. <laughs> you can what? Alligator farts. <laughs> do it. I can't do it. I <laughs> like the noise that I Do I look like an yeah. alligator to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> or a squirrel. Y'all got any good calls? My turkey calls. Unparalleled. Men What's being that? words. Unparalleled? Men being words. Are you ready? I'm <clears throat> Come here, turkey. <laughs> I'm amused. I'm Ashlyn. I'm Molly. And I'm Jalen. And we're students from the Raven County Bank Student Advisory Board. So what is the Bank Advisory Board? The Raven County Bank Student Advisory Board has been created to mentor and develop high school seniors to prepare them for a strong financial future. The group meets with members of the bank each month to learn about topics such as careers, credit, saving money, and making good financial decisions. Who can apply? Any upcoming senior who is interested in being prepared for life in the financial aspect should apply. They are looking for students who are motivated to learn and engage with the bank members. You can find your application in your email. It has been sent from Mrs. Ward. You'll need a teacher to complete the recommendation portion of the application, and you may be called in for an interview before school starts back in August. 
What else should we know? These meetings happen once a month and meet during the year in Wildcat time. If you're selected for the board, you will need to plan to attend all meetings and be available during that time. If your schedule does not allow for that, you might not want to apply or you can talk to Mrs. Ward to see if you can find a way to fit it in your schedule. All right, what's up, Wildcat TV? Today, uh, we're doing bad jokes and uh, yeah, enjoy this intro. No, no, no. <laughs> You get it? Yeah. Can you explain can you explain it? Doesn't make any sense. Shade of Bugatti. Joke, I get it. What did the hat say to the Mountain Dew? What? Honey glazed ham. You get it? Yeah. Can you explain can you explain it? Heck no. What did the pencil say to the eraser? I I don't know what a pencil said to the eraser. What did what did it say? George Washington. You get it? No. What did the mustache say to the Jordan 4? What? Honey glazed ham. Do you get it? Are you serious right now, bro? What did Lamborghini say to Bugatti? What'd they say? George Washington. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a funny joke, I get it. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Explain. See, cause like, George Washington, he invented the Lamborghinis. So he's like, George Washington, he said that to the Bugatti. Feel me? Yeah. What did Lamborghini say to Coca-Cola? I don't know. What did Lamborghini say to Coca-Cola? Honey glazed ham. <laughs> you get it? No, but why don't you get my joke? Because it doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. How does Lamborghini Lam so Coca-Cola have anything to do with honey glazed ham? So basically Lamborghini was glazing the Coca-Cola saying Coca-Cola is the best drink out there. So, but they got beef, but instead of beef is ham. Okay, that still yeah. makes no sense. All right, thank you. What's up, guys? What's, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> Today we're doing round two of the spelling bee potential. P A <laughs> P A T I L A L. <laughs> I don't know. Potential. P O T E N T I A L. Yes. Feisty. F I S T Y. <laughs> I think that's wrong. F I S E Y. <laughs> Feisty. I don't even think. Did you say, <laughs> did you say T? No. <laughs> Reservation. R E S E R V A. <laughs> T-I-O-N. One point for Madeline. <laughs> Embarrassed. Why am I blinking? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> e? No, emergency is two M's. That's what it is. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. E-M-M-B-E-R-S-E-D. You get that? <laughs> yeah, it's just wrong. Okay. <laughs> it's just like you were wrong like the first letters. E-M-B-A-R-S-S-E-D. No. Give Jesus. me supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. You can't spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. You definitely cut some out of the end, but we'll see. Mm -mm. Universe. U-N-I-V-E-R-S-E. -E. Chocolate. C-H-O-L-O-T-E. <laughs> Madeline. What? You just got a point. Yeah, but it's my turn. I don't care. It's my game. Alligator. Alligator. That's like Mississippi. M I crooked leg, crooked leg, I crooked leg, crooked leg, I hump back, hump back, I. That's how you smell Mississippi. <laughs> A L L I G A T O R. Yes. <laughs> All right, two points for that word. Three, three. <laughs> Megan, yours is belligerent. <laughs> I'll be the first to say it. This game is rich. I don't know how it's pronounced. Let's ask Siri. Say belligerent. We are looking at how to pronounce this word as well as how to say Belligerent. B A L I G E R A N T. No. Switch all the A's to E's probably. All of them? <laughs> Switch so. every single letter to something different, you would have gotten it right. That's part of the thing. Uh, Jaden Payne? And so, ooh, ooh, yes, yeah. 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 Don't play with ooh. Home. Hippopotamus. H I P P O P O T. A-M-O-U-S? I think that was right. If it was correct, we will replay a clip of Jaden hitting his dance move right now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you wanna 
go to the left and you want to turn right. Wanna oh, all we're cutting it there. <laughs> That's done. Okay. That's Thanks fun. for watching this week's episode of Wildcat TV. What's up guys? You already know what it is. White Thunder, Big Parmesan out here at the Raven County track and field. Hashtag ad not sponsored. Uh, we're here in the extreme weather conditions. I don't know. It is torrential out here almost. So me and him, we're gonna run some track and field events and uh, it's gonna get destroyed. Yeah. All right, Grant, how do you feel about that win right there? Dude, he just got absolutely gapped. I mean, that was like, like that big. All right, Peyton, what do you have to say in response to Grant? Honestly, you're going to get back at him this next race? Oh, heck yeah, I am. All right, Grant, how's it feel to win one more on the day? I don't know, man. He, he looked like he was catching up to you. Let's go. All right, Peyton, how's it feel to be 0-2 on the day? So I, I, let him, I let him pass me on that one. And for the final event before the draft, the long jump. And here we have Big Parm going for the long jump. Well, that's all we have for this week's shows. Have a great weekend. And, and stay, stay superior, Wildcat Nation. Wildcat Nation.